My name is Roko Ukic and you can follow me on Twitter, Facebook and YouTube. I think uh, last year was very successful for myself and for the team. We needed some time to, to, to get known each other and uh, start to play good basketball. And we got a double crown and also we were very close to getting the Final Four. This season I think we can, we can do even stuff more because what I said last year, we won everything in Greece, but in Europe we stay one step away from, from our final goal, which is Final Four. And this is our main goal this year. It will not be easy and we have to be aware that even if we have a better, maybe better team on a, on a paper, it doesn't mean we will be a better team because we got to do the same good chemistry and we really have to, have to play as a unit as we did the last year. And I hope when a real games comes, I mean the real games that count, uh, later in the season we will be, we will be the, uh, on the right place and we will try to, to win all important games and try to have even more, imp more, more successful year than we had last year. The season for me started very tough because I, I came from the national team injured. I, I had a pain uh, during the whole uh, European Championship but I didn't know how bad it was until I came here. I did some examination, but I didn't have the right information about my situation. I found out I have some small ruptures of both of my tendons, which require some time for me to stay away from the team. But even now when I'm back, I, I'm still in recovering process. I'm not close, even close to 100% yet. I'm just trying to help the team on any, on, on, on any way I can. So the only important thing, as I said before, is the team this year. So if I can help 5, 10, 15 minutes and if they can help us win, I'm ready to do it. I also got to thank uh, all, all fans from the Greece, all fans from Panathinaikos, all around the Europe, because they've been really supportive to me. They really understood my situation and they sent me messages of support from, from the Twitter, from, for, on, uh, on, on Facebook, on wherever and they, they've been real there for me in, in the tough moments and that, that's something special for me. And nobody expects me now to get on a court and score 30 points and be the man because everybody understands my situation. And as long as, as they can recognize that I'm giving 100% of my effort, nobody look on the stats and ask why you didn't do this, why you didn't do that, and I really appreciate it. And that's why I really can't wait the day I will be real physically well so I can I can give him more to the team. My big passion is sport in general. You know, I'm a big sport fan. I always been a big sport fan. I follow Croatian soccer league a lot because my favorite team is playing there and this year after who knows when they play well. I like to follow that. I like to follow also like uh, NBA of course, everything related to basketball, American football. I like track and field, you know, when I'm with my buddies from national team, I follow tennis a lot because they are big tennis fans. So, you know, I'm really like a sport guy. I was thinking about it when I was on Olympic Games, on Olympic Village, you see everybody. You see from, from Messi to, to Federer to, to LeBron James and Kobe Bryant. And I never had like a wish to take picture or get to know to somebody just to to say hello, what's up, and never seen him in my life. If I, if I would know somebody, I would like to know him because of some reason, not just to, to meet it and forget about it. So I, there is so much people I admire, and I think they are, they are great, but nobody that, that I'm dying to meet and take a picture with. My hometown, Split Croatia, is given a lot of uh, famous uh, athletes it's kind of phenomenal because like it's it's place where probably two two hundred thousand people is living and you got five guys who worn a jersey or some NBA franchises you have a like who knows how much people who won a Olympic medals and world championship and been famous in the sports and it's really special place. I met a, a lot of famous athletes from Split. Basically, I know all of them because we are in the same town and, sa and the town is very small. 
So, so I'm I'm good friends with 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 Dino Raja. I I, I know Tony Kukoc because he was uh, with me also in the national team. I know uh, also Goran Ivanišević who is from Split. I'm good friend with Blanka Vlašić, she's from Split. Uh, with Mario Ančić, he's from Split. So, you know, like lots of people. Basically, if whoever is from Croatia and is successful from a sport, there is at least 50% possibility that guy is from Split. Yeah, I, I keep getting a lot of questions about drums. Before the first time and anybody see me play was the last year after we won a championship and and the media recorded. I, I played drums since I was a little kid. I started to play drums before I started playing basketball. Uh, the truth is that I didn't play for a long time in between. Maybe from my I don't know seven to nineteen year I, I I didn't touch the sticks. But like last six seven years I play a lot. I'm trying to get better every day. Whenever I have opportunity to play a little bit, I play. I love music. Music is my is my second love. It's my passion. Uh, the only drummer that is my role model is my father. I'm up this side. Uh, I don't think people really understand how big Dalek Albala was in Croatia, especially in Split and in this region that I'm from. Because down there they have status as a like cult cultural phenomenon. Because uh, since then you have maybe one or two more bands and that's it. They really influence two, three generations probably. Even now, ten years after they are not active anymore, you can still hear their music on a regular basis around Croatia and I'm positive if they have some reunion or whatever it will be like a huge thing in Croatia. I played with my father a lot when I was a kid. I played in their concert when I was five years old and I play on my wedding day with my fifth father. Uh, my family really accept my drumming, especially now, because it's, it's in the other part of the house, so it's not too loud. So when I play, like, it doesn't really affect regular life. But I remember when we were living in Istanbul and in Toronto, it, was, it wasn't the real drums, it was electronic drums, but it was in my room, which is like very loud. So I, I remember my wife was always like, not like telling me nothing because of her or the kids, but because the neighbors. <laughs> but it's all good, you know, like uh, I never had a problem with it. But my father told me lots of times he had a problem. And the only answer is like, if the drummer doesn't practice, like how would they become the drummers? And the only way to them to practice is to be loud. It's not their fault that it's a loud profession. <laughs> Yeah, my family really like Athens uh, because it's it's a great place with a, with a great weather and re really really brings us bring us the same feeling like we are at home, and especially with with all the people being so nice and so supportive to me and to to my family, so we really feel like home. And uh, our neighborhood is great, and the schools are great, and uh, kids already got their friends there, so, so we really enjoy the time in Athens. Uh, my name is Roko Ukic, and thank you for all of the support.